I forgot something very, very important about this. It changes everything about the perception of where it is on the tier list. Okay. Okay, you ready for it? Yeah. It starts with a question, though. Are you making a YouTube video out of this? No. Uh, no. Okay. Now, guys, we are going to make a tier list of every class's tier list. So, wow spec tier list. I should be able to figure this out. So, we need to rename these tiers. So, I want to be clear how we're actually going to do this. Okay? We are ranking WoW tier, the tier bonuses in, in Sepulchre, also known as Seppi C. Oh, is there no tanks? Oh, shit. Okay, we need to find one with tanks then. Okay, so fun tier slash powerful. Right under that would be powerful slash not fun. Under that would be fun slash not powerful. Then this is just overall meh. Okay, you want these two to be changed? Okay, fine. Uh, this one's overall, no, she, not overall Meg. I do not know a single Meg. Actually, I have an Ant Meg, but she's not meh. She's awesome. So overall meh, and this is very bad and turbo ass. Okay, there we go. We're gonna start with some professionals here. Atlas. Are you around? All right, I'm calling him. Hey, okay, I need help. So I'm making a tier list of every class's tier in the game, okay? Sorted by fun slash powerful being the best, fun and not powerful under that, powerful but not fun under that, overall meh, then ass, then turbo ass. And I need you to help me rank all the DK ones. Okay. Okay, so let's start with Frost. This is just the tier <laughs> alone. <laughs> well... Well, I can use Keep in mind, Scarzard so is, is in the chat, though, too, if oh, that matters to you. The Frost set is super good. I'm very happy that they didn't change it. I love that they kept it exactly the way it was. Okay. Uh, because I really like getting 8% crit. That is very exciting. Dude, tell me the fucking truth. I shouldn't have told you oh. he was in the chat. <laughs> okay. Um, um, it's, it's very strong, but it's not fun. Okay. It's, it's kind of lame as hell, but it's Describe not. it to me. Like, how does it how does it work? So, first of all, are you playing breath or no breath? No. The tier set literally just makes you use a two-hander. That's it. Oh. Yeah, and you just get a little bit of stats, like, every now and then. It's really boring. Damn, yeah. that's but sad. It, it was about to be lit. It was about to be super oh, cool. Oh, fuck. But then they decided that they didn't have the dev time for that, so they they went back. Damn, real shit. Okay. Yeah. This is actually in shambles. All right. All right. Unholy, yeah. unholy Death Knight. Uh, it's fun, but it doesn't do much. Fun slash not powerful then. So no, yeah. so neither of them are ass or turbo ass, just to be... Yeah. Okay, lit. I like that. Okay. Do you know enough about blood? Yeah, it, it's it's lit in Mythic Plus. It's actually very cool. Okay, well, I was going to think about maybe doing this for Raider Mythic Plus, but I feel like combining them is probably fine, because I even though I don't give a shit about Mythic Plus, I think most players definitely do. So I'm, I'm thinking... Yeah. So if you include Mythic Plus, then fun tier slash powerful for Bloody K. So it's like at the top, it owns. Yeah, in raid, it's just like, eh. Unless you're getting hit by a bunch of stuff, then it's very cool. All right, let's fucking go. All right, sounds good. All right, thanks for your consulting, Atlas. Also, chat, what did you guys think of his acting in the teaser? Okay, goodbye. All right, so you did. Well, wait, you don't want to see them pog? Oh, he actually left in my face. That's actually fucked up. Wait, James just got out of a key? Hey, I need your help. Okay, which spec should we start with? Whatever you want, dude. All well, the three go with my favorite so far which would be the sub rogue tier set okay um, i think it's super fun okay, it the fuck is it's like changes your gameplay so it's reactive Where's uh but the the it would be fun and powerful but i feel like it can be powerful because like with extra targets right like it's definitely well, powerful it, 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 it is but the the reason why it's not i wouldn't put it there yet is because of all the bugs so there's like a lot of really cool interactions potentially between like rogue legendaries and the two set and the four set and certain talents and conduits and ideally that you want them all to work together and scars has said that you know on blizzard's end they want them to work together because that would be like really fun gameplay wise but right now they don't work together yet so it's fun oh wait one second scars plays rips in the chat right now oh those got fixed baby in parentheses akaris did at least let's go that's good that's good um, it just hasn't been pushed yet okay so yeah. Knowing those changes, would you put it in the fun yes. tier slash powerful? Yeah, I would. Yeah. Okay. Pog. Assassination. Uh, I okay. think is. 
I think it's meh. I think it's meh because it, would well, you say it was ass it, if he wasn't here? No, no, I wouldn't. I think it's meh because it does change how you play a little bit, and it makes Vendetta feel more impactful. It synergizes well with one of the other. If you're running double legendaries, so you can have like a 50 second. Bro, Vendetta, chat. Like he thinks it's Vendetta, ass. He's being so nice. I think it's good. Actually, maybe not. He's pretty real. But it's not quite as powerful. I thought it was fantastic in terms of powerful when it had the old 100% bonus on the two set. Mm -hmm. But maybe it's like after having experienced that and then now it being 40%, it just feels a bit underwhelming. But I do like that the two set gives it a bit of AoE because like assassination was sort of lacking that with shit before. So that's how I'm kind of in the middle. You have a yeah. you have a chance to put the spec called ass in the ass category if you want. But if <laughs> well, you want to if you want to leave it if you want to leave it in meh, that's fine. The problem is that for outlaw, outlaw is like objectively worse than assassinations. So it's like oh shit, I don't know. It, we can't. Yeah. It, oh. I, I think, fuck. Yeah, I wouldn't put outlaw as turbo ass. Oh you, no. Dude, okay, if you if you combined it, the fact that it's oh. uncapped and the tier set, yeah, turbo ass for sure. But but if we're not looking at the uncapped part, I would just say ass. The reason why is because I feel like Oh my god, he put in turbo more, ass! Like the two no. set feels good and it gives you more combo points, which means you're sending finishers more often and it's exciting and it adds a additional element of reactivity to Outlaw's rotation, which I think is good. But the four set is like I just wish it like proc the adrenaline rush, or I don't know. It's it's focused on between the eyes, but it's okay. not even good enough for you to run the between the eyes legendary. Without law, you hit your main target, and between the eyes makes you crit more, so that cleaves off of that. Yo, chat, I have you no idea really what he's talking about. He's not going to know I'm not paying attention to him, though. Like min maxing and putting between the eyes on two different targets. Yeah. And so it's just kind of a bit odd and then sometimes you'll shoot off your between the eyes when you've already put the between the eyes on the target so it's like it refreshes the duration and it's just like this like little proc of like 5,000 damage yeah and that yeah yeah force it so yeah this that's how i put them but i love the i love the sub one that one's really fun all right let's get it all right cool thanks for your expertise james how did you did you just time that key by the way yeah we did easy in time all right very good all right i'll see you later cool. thanks max yep all right all right, so we have Rogue and DK done, and if you were to separate these as top and bottom, he's he's four out of four out of six not being ass. That's that's pretty fucking good. If you're in charge of six specs tier, and four out of six are not ass, that's good. That's good, chat. Pog Pog Scarzard Pog. Also, apparently, this is actually probably good because maybe it'll give some some good feedback, even though I'm sure they already have it. Oh, five out of six is not ass. Yeah, you're right. Four out of six is actually in the top gonna text my mom not ass yep yep all right THD's here all right i'm calling THD guys hello hello all right do you know what i'm doing yeah you're doing some sort of tier list and i'm peeping yeah start with demo demo it's not super fun because it doesn't really change anything at all it's just extra damage but okay it is very good so it is fun and not power or no it is powerful and not fun Yes, that is the one. Powerful, not fun. Okay, got it. All right, Destro. It is very fun. It is a great tier set. I actually love it. It is fun. And on AoE, it is extremely powerful. On single target, it's kind of there, you know? So this list is kind of encompassing Mythic raid. Plus and Raid? Yeah, I mean, this one's uh, just a kind of an anomaly of a tier set. It's just, it's just Giga AoE, but also on single target, it's kind of there. Okay, then that sounds like it's at the top. Wait, it sounded like Zerbo was going to put them all in Turbo Ass. Well, aft goes turbo ass. Wait, why does aft go turbo ass? It sucks ass. <laughs> it doesn't uh, wait, affect why? AOE at all. It just buffs an ability that got nerfed by the same value of the last patch. And it it the four set does nothing. It's like 1% damage. It's dog shit. <laughs> wait, oh, wait. You, did you just say 1% DPS? Yeah, probably. It's wow, like that's like, that might that, be... That four set's fucking garbage. Is there something worse than turbo ass? Wait, that that sounds like actually so much worse than every other set. Like that shouldn't even be on the same tier as Outlaw. Is is it the worst one in the game? That four set for F is so bad. I think both tier sets combined is five percent. That's like terrible. All right, if you had to name the row to describe Affliction Lock specifically, what would it be? Fucking sewage dump. <laughs> okay.
All right, I shouldn't have asked, but all good. Um, all right, all right. Thank you for your expertise. Have fun, PvP. No problem. Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we're not gonna do sewage dump. I feel like we should just call it swamp ass. Okay, we'll do swamp ass. That that that's more that's more on brand with the tier list. Wait, Atlas said, can you make a revision? Okay, and we have Atlas back on the line here, chat. Atlas said he needs to make a revision to his tier set. All right, what's up? I forgot something very very important about this. It changes everything about the perception of where it is on the tier list. Okay. Okay, you ready for it? Yeah. It starts with a question, though. Are you making a YouTube video out of this? No, uh, no, we are not. No, 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 no. We're not. You're not using this as leverage to get your classes buffed or nerfed. Turbo ass. Buff it. Buff it all. No, okay, I shouldn't have fucking called you. All right, I'm, I'm hanging up, chat. This is pure propaganda. He's doing a bit because he thinks my YouTube video about how there was no melee spots with, with unnerfed AMZ that he thinks I got AMZ nerfed, which is an absolute, which is purely fake news. All of you all know that. So he wants me to rank it low so it gets buffed. Uh, okay, next. Uh, we could do a few things. I guess we could do Hunter. Let me see if any of our Hunters are around or let me see if Gingy's still awake. Oh, I could call Roger. Okay, Roger usually takes a while to respond on Discord though. So he might not be around. Oh, Eric's around. All right, I'm calling Eric. Eric, I need your help. Okay. So start with BM. Good single target does nothing for you on AoE. Oh yeah, and this list is also like a little bit of mix of Raid and Mythic Plus. So it's kind of just in general, like the tiers, for example, are like fun tier and powerful. So like insanely good tier. Fun slash not powerful is better than powerful, not fun, but they're both there. And then it's meh ass, turbo ass, and swamp ass. Swamp ass is like pretty sure just reserved for Affliction Lock though. Okay. It's good, it's not OP. It sounds meh. It's meh. Is it fun to play? It allows you to play a conduit that reduces a cool your main cooldown and cdr is always fun and wow so in that aspect it's all right okay i actually hard agree with that okay oh that sounds like it might be kind of fun but that seems like too high i would put it probably it's it's fun but it's not like super engaging so it's met i mean it's, it it's sounds met. met okay it's met all right cool all right marks so marks does nothing for you single target well it does something but it's very weak but on cleave which is already marks like strength you go bananas I haven't seen you guys like playing a ton of it. Is it it's, was it's it like bugged, bugged for a while? Yeah, 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 yeah. it's still bugged. Okay, but, so but in its non-bug form, you think it's gonna be very powerful? On cleave, it's ha weird because marksman's strength is already cleave, and it just enhances that strength. Yeah, it's weird. You could make an argument for or against that. That sounds like it's powerful. Is it fun though? Does it like does it like feel like giant pop off? E kinda. It gives marksman two target, which is cool, because they notoriously have to have three targets to cleave, but with the tier set, they can actually do two target damage now. Okay, so where do you think it goes? Uh, I'd probably put it on fun and powerful. Oh, at the top, all right, let's fucking get it. Unbugged, marksman tier, fun and powerful. Fuck yeah, all right, <laughs> survival. Higher than even the top tier, it's so broken. Is it the best tier in the game? I think it might be. <sighs> probably. I think it's the best tier. We I might think without survival tier, survival's pretty trash. Okay. And then it just gets tier and it's god tier. I'm gonna put it at the top then. All right, survival. Looks good to me. All right, fuck yeah. Thanks, Eric. Yep. Yep. Wait, Roger Roger just messaged me, so he's not asleep yet. I'm going to have him review and revise and give his give his uh, rankings if he's still here. Hello. Dude, it's latest. I, I thought you weren't a degen. I mean, it's 2 a.m. here, yeah? It's not that bad. That's the most gamer shit I've ever heard in my life. That that's Okay, that's fine. Okay. The reason I'm calling, it's super short. I am streaming, by the way. I'm going through all of the stuff for like tiers and wow and i'm kind of ranking them based on like how fun and how powerful they are and i just talked to eric but i want your opinion on like the hunter tier so what do you think about bm about bm just the tier bonus alone for it being like mixture of fun and powerful so it being good fun to play stuff like that it's okay i guess in the middle somewhere yeah eric ranked it directly as meh it was like good single target zero aoe not super fun to play but like better than yeah yeah that sounds about right yeah meh. okay yeah, yeah, met. And then marks, but we're going to assume it's not bugged. So what marks is supposed to be? Probably a little bit higher than meh. Like one or two tiers above that, I guess. Okay, he put it as it was probably going to be like, so it's obviously doubling down on like AoE strength, right? So it's like super pop off an AoE, but doesn't help their single target. So it's like almost building into their niche, right? But it gives them mm -hmm. two target. He said it was like fun to play and powerful. So it kind of went into the fun tier slash powerful basically the only argument to make is do you think it's either not powerful or not fun would be the only thing that would take it down i think it's both but it's not that much fun right like if i compare it with hfc instant aim shots that was way more fun and powerful so yeah. i can't just put it that high 
right now I have marks in the fun tier slash powerful, which is pretty high. So you're saying you think it'd be a little bit lower than that? A little bit lower, but I don't know if necessarily it's like only fun but not powerful or only powerful and not fun. It's just it it's not really that significantly of, of both of those factors that I would put it at the... Yeah, it seems like it needs another tier. That's fine. I think I'll just put it at the end of that tier then like the sure, end yeah, of the fun tier and power like like, yeah. like the ones that would be under there are probably stronger okay cool and then yeah. the last one is survival so i'm not gonna say okay. anything i just want to hear what you think i think it's really bad and definitely don't touch it you know it's fine <laughs> <laughs> so so eric and i put survival in a tier of its own above every single other class at the top <laughs> you know there is a big um negative to this okay um, that it it's really not that great if you have high ping because you can't react that fast to it right and then okay. you're like oh man. so that, yeah that does suck yeah yeah so definitely don't, don't nerf it then yeah i see definitely don't nerf it's not that good honestly <laughs> but it's fine i mean no one's gonna play survival anyways so <laughs> yeah <laughs> no, i mean I, 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 I would just put it at the top I mean, I expect, honestly, I expect... Well, because I think for a while, people... I expect a decent nerf on it. Well, yeah. yeah, but I think for a while, people were, like, thinking that the Insta reset was a bug, but then I think in recent times, people are thinking that they might actually intend that. So it's weird, because I feel like the spec is definitely honestly, bad. If they if they nerf the tier, the spec would be bad, right? Like the, the ideal thing would be, if they nerf this, maybe buff a little bit the overall spec, um, just a little bit here and there, but definitely nerf this, because honestly, if you don't have tier, you might as well never play this spec as it is right now. Yeah. Um, but with but tier, it becomes like the best class in the game by far. So it's basically, yeah. I think yeah. probably, honestly, without sounding too BM, I think no one really plays survival at Blizzard. So they just threw a number and it's just completely out of whack. Yeah. I mean, you get the idea though. It is at the top for sure. It is fun. I think it's, I don't know. Have you played with it? I haven't There's... played with it. Our hunters have played with it. It's obviously super fucking RNG. So like th there would be. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So that, that's the yeah. problem with it, right? There's two things. First of all, you can have two hunters that are equal skill. And then one guy gets a bit lucky and just does 30% more damage than the other guy. I mean, not a little bit lucky, but you know, there's huge variance if you get lucky or not. And secondly, if you mess up and you just are out of bombs, um, then this is the worst feeling. I've never felt worse in my life of having this such a powerful proc and not being able to use it. Yeah. I think they need to do something about it. Like they need to just redesign it. When it procs, it just gives you a stack of, of, of wildfire bomb and just nerf the damage it does. Something like that. That's like very reasonable, I think. Yeah, yeah. I agree. All right, well, I'm gonna let you go to bed. Thanks for the insight. Uh, yeah. What's the next one? Oh yeah, Roger's the shit. I can start, uh, maybe a tank. Uh, let me see if Robin's still awake. Oh, he's here. Dude, I'm surprised you're still awake. I thought you were like a turbo normie now. Yeah, but uh, are you streaming? Yeah. Oh, shit. What, were you Wait. about to just let some crazy shit rip or what? Yeah, I was gonna like let it rip, <laughs> like big time. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, so I'm doing a tier list for every class and spec in the game right now, okay? And it's about their tier specifically. The ranks are in this order, survival at the top alone. Ignore that one though. Under that is fun tier slash powerful. Under that is fun, but not powerful. Under that is powerful, but not fun. Under that is meh. And then it's ass, turbo ass, and then swamp ass. And I want to talk to you about the tank ones. Dude, Was I'm not like talking about the class in general. This is about the tier bonuses. Oh. Yeah, oh, dude, I, I said that. Oh. You are tired. It must be late yes, for I you. Yes, I am. It's 1, 1 30 a.m. I was going to go to bed, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the bonus is really good for warrior, but some oh. of the class yeah, sucks, but the bonus is, is really good. I would say it's powerful. I don't know, would you say it's fun? I feel like it's kind of passive. The warrior one? I haven't played it. I haven't played it either, I just know what it does. Oh, let's just make it up then. That would make that community really happy. Yeah, 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 it's no, it's it's f f fun fun and powerful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck it, why not? Just put it up there then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. put it up, put it up. Yep. Oh yeah, good. Okay, and then the guardian, let's revisit guardian. So guardian's tier bonus. Uh, yeah, then it's the same. It's like passive, but it's really powerful. Very good. Especially is that fun though? No, it sucks. Okay, it's then boring. it's then it's powerful, powerful and not fun. And so the same. Fun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. All right, Brew Master. You oh, probably hadn't played this because yeah, Mirrors yeah. would have been playing it. So do, have you played with it at well, all? The thing is, I like. There's no way they're not gonna get nerfed, right? It, it's so brilliant. I, I see people having like kind of 20k HP and they do insane damage. So I guess it's. Uh, powerful and fun but it's gonna be very sad when they get nerfed okay so, so for now we leave it at powerful and fun 
Uh, yeah, because doing damage is fun, right? It's not really that engaging. You just do more damage, which is fun. Okay, like, Miraz is screaming. I'm just going to add Miraz to the call. One second. Wait, does that have to do with the tier, though? I actually don't remember. What, what is the tier, actually? One second. Well, it's what makes warriors. We're only talking about the, the tier. Best. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but it yeah. makes warriors well, the, the best the tank against good. medic damage in the warrior. <laughs> That's what people say. Yeah. Oh, I, I thought we were talking about the general tanks. I just turned yeah, it to sorry. But I did the same, don't worry. Uh, okay. We're like, we're no. European, we're stupid, you know? Uh, uh, oh, wait, okay, that's okay. No, if we're smart. talking about the... Yeah, okay, we're talking about the tier set. It's actually really good. It is cool. Because it increases your rage generation. You can, like, do more damage or get more rage. It's actually pretty cool, I must say. <laughs> we have Prot Warrior, Blood Decay and Brewmaster all in like the fun tier. It's fun to play and it's powerful. Would you agree with all three of those? I wouldn't say the tier, if we're only talking about the tier, Brewmaster is not, I mean, I played it a lot. It's not really Bro, fun. You Omega damage, that's fun. You just do that's damage fine. and you see yeah, you have okay. okay. you do damage. Doing, doing damage is objectively fun though. Like, like yeah, the exactly. most, it's, it's not a coincidence that the most fun time to ever tank in this game was when tanks were like owning damage. Yeah, that's true. yeah. Then we need to leave it there. I mean, Brumas is pretty OP, yeah? I mean, surely they nerfed nah, the set, Nah, right? sure. they're not gonna get surely. nerfed at all. Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, so let's talk about the big one. Fucking Prod Paladin. Survival. So, well, survival's already... Survival literally is on a tier in its own. <laughs> because of how good survival yeah, is. No, it can't Paladin, be survival. No, no, I think Prod Paladin is survival. You, so it does, yeah, it does like a full judgment on a three-second ICD just basically permanently. Like I dueled, yeah. I dueled Lip with it in Dizarre Lore, and I just attacked him and died. Like, it just killed yeah, it's me. Yeah, great. I have unlimited I mean, holy power as well. It's, it's, it can't yeah, complain. Yeah, it's actually broken. But you guys know that survival can just be in the cannon and do like double the damage of every other class. Yeah, yeah but I mean, it is really good. Paladin than tank as well, no? Like compared to tanks. Yeah. Kind of. So I, I think I agree with that. What is the, uh, is there any other tanks? There has to be. Well, yeah, there's one more. No, we did Vengeance. Oh no, we talked about Vengeance. I think it was, yeah. the, you said it was kind of fun, but. It's fun in a plus, but it's weird in, on single target, I feel like. I don't know, I barely feel it on single target, but in on like 10 mobs in a plus, you do a big pool, yeah, you feel like a king. Feel it. I feel like you, it, you can't put it in meh because mythic plus exists, so it has to be either... Yeah, it, it would be meh, but yeah, then M plus, so I don't know where to put it. It's really weird, because I wouldn't want to put it in uh, fun either, because... I mean, it's really fun in M plus. <laughs> yeah, but my, my, you have to remember, we're talking to maximum max of liquid he doesn't enjoy m plus he thinks m plus is a mini game that's not true man i've never said that all right all right cool so i think i think we have to put it in fun tier slash powerful because it is goaded in m plus so it just has to go there even though okay, yeah 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 it's weird but and how does all the tanks end up yeah, bro, yeah well that. what is going on i guess that they just made tank tier good that wasn't true a couple weeks ago because like the, some of them were actually just dog shit and other James things put outlaw and turbo ass by the way yeah. No way. Yeah. yeah, yeah. James put put outlaw and turbo S. All right, cool. I think I think that's all of that. I'm probably gonna have to call a healer. You guys don't heal, right? That would be on. That would be forsaken. Oh, I I've heal. seen Robin heal some. Bro, I I heal, heal man. The whole, yeah, hold right, it, man. All right, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for the no, call. Yeah. All right. Thank yeah. you. Ciao. Ye Hello. Yo. Did you just wake up? Um, technically, I guess. What does that mean? Um. Okay. Uh. So it was like a a nap because. I wanted to take a shower, but someone was in the shower, but I woke up like an hour ago, so I took a, a nap because I didn't want to just sit there waiting. And now I'm up, and now I'm here. Okay, all right. So you <laughs> yeah, you also definitely don't sound like you just woke up either. You sound very normal. That's good. Um, so I'm talking about tier on my stream. So you are on stream right now. I just shared you my thing. So we're not talking about classes overall strength. We're just talking about their tier bonuses and ranking them against each other um so it's like okay. kind of like every every spec no like... no just mage just mage oh, all right that's <laughs> no. a bit easier <laughs> all right i could do that i guess <laughs> all right start with arcane um okay so arcane i don't know why the the tier got nerfed on arcane for first of all that one was it, it was kind of weird but all good the two piece is good it's just good and then the four piece is better I'd say this is what I told you he see. would do. Um, powerful slash not fun. That's it. Okay, I powerful. Like it's still powerful even after they nerfed it. On um, the four pieces. Okay. It's powerful. 
it's like probably about 10% with both. Okay. 10% increase, but it's not fun at all. All right. Fire Mage, including the recent nerfs. Okay. So the two piece, Dog Trash, and then the, the four piece, oh, really bad. And it hurts you too. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so it's not good at all, basically. And yeah. So if you were, so it sounds like it's even worse than meh. So would you say it's ass or turbo ass? I guess turbo. Why not? It's like turbo ass. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's one level below turbo ass, but that's being reserved for affliction lock only because apparently that one's worse than all of them. Okay. Yeah, that's yep. fair. Okay. All right. Frost Magus. It's probably the best out of the three. Is it fun though? Um, I don't think it. It's too fun. It's like cool looking. You get a look and boom, there's some things falling from the sky every 20 seconds. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So it's no, so it, it sounds like it's powerful, but oh, not but fun. You're, you're not like having fun when you see it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It, so it's probably powerful, but not fun, but we'll put it one step in front of Arcane because yeah. it's better. Yeah. Okay. Nice. All right. That works. All right. Thank you for your services and good morning. Yep. Enjoy. Yeah. Good morning to you too. <laughs> bye. All right. Bye. <laughs> all right all right calling trill for windwalker <laughs> hello 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 all right i need some help describe the like windwalker two and four piece to me and like tell me where you think it goes i would love to but it's still bugged <laughs> <laughs> so you don't even know what it's supposed to do i i know what it's supposed to do but it's right now it like, Sword and Fire is consuming three stacks at once of the actual important part Oh, of the my God. Okay. Uh, and it doesn't, like, generate three stacks of the buff. So, uh, do you, you know what it does? Yeah, yeah. it's, it's the Fist of Fury one, right? That's the two-piece. Yeah, yeah, which yeah. Is yeah. Very, which is very boring. So, the two-piece is 40% Fist of Fury damage. If you play Kyrian, you cancel it anyway. So, that's great. Uh, and then the four-piece is each ability, you, each offensive ability you cast... Gives you a stack of this buff, stacks up to ten. Times. Oh yeah, yeah, stacks up to ten times. Then your next spell, your next like three your next spells. Three spells do twenty-two percent more damage. Yeah, and so like if you were to do it correctly, you'd line it up with like your, you know, like rising sun kick, a fist outside of Kyrian, and the yeah. the whirling dragon punch. But it just but, if you're in, but, oh my so, god. So so expel harm counts as an offensive spell, so it consumes a stack of it, and then the fit, and then the sword and fire part. Both of those things combined, it, you basically just pretend it doesn't exist. Okay, it sounds like this is turbo ass. It's it's pretty turbo ass. <laughs> okay. It's it's really not the good. Like if it if it actually worked correctly and and uh, let me say this if if Sword and Fire actually gave you three stacks of like the stacking part, like the ten stack thing. Dude, is it swamp cast, ass? It would actually be pretty sick. But that plus it not consuming all all the stacks, of the important part instantly. Like both of those things combined, it would be like meh. Okay. Probably. Yeah. Okay. But, it's supposed to be fun, but it's not. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna. I think it's between ass and turbo ass because I think if it got unbugged, it would actually be pretty good. But yeah, it's it's definitely in this state. It's turbo ass. Uh, okay, we'll leave it there for now because it's just been unbugged for so long. And if Blizzard sees this, maybe they'll like be like, "Oh wait, what?" Even though they should probably already know that. <laughs> okay, all right, thank you. All right, so we don't have that many more left. We do have healers though. So what should we do with healers? Tag said, "I'll do all the healers at once." Okay, I'm calling tags then. I'm calling tags, and then I'm adding maybe. Hello? Hello. Do you actually know what all the healer tier does? I do know what they all do, but I might get flamed. Why? Well, the healer community is, is always very divided. But you can probably take getting flamed, though. Oh, I can take it. All right, let's fucking get it then. All right, well, let's start with one that has nothing to do with maybe. Let's start about young, the one, the only young holy paladin. It, oh, so after you get two legendaries, it's mm -hmm. going to be very fun and very powerful. After you get two legendaries? Definitely. Okay, so this is the first time I've heard anyone mention that it depends on whether you have one or two legendaries for your tier to be good. And that's like, so this list is like, it's mythic plus and raid, but we never talked about whether it was going to be for le like, you know, well, the actual meta for the community or the race world first meta, which will be completely different. But I well, guess it doesn't it, matter, right? It, 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 it that is mostly because it's depending on covenant choice like once once that all falls into place you can play necro and like have infinite wings and that's really good and fun that that's kind of what it is 
Um, I don't think you can get as much effectiveness out of five man from it because uh, it, it relies on like number of targets hit by your light of dawn, which I don't think you can always get six targets in a dungeon, right? Yeah. But it is definitely, and, and like that has nothing to do with if Pally's good or not. Like the tier set is a massive ramp and it is fun for sure. Before, before you get two legendaries, it's probably still in that category. It's just like even stronger. Yeah, yeah I, I get it. Okay, I think it's good to mention that because I think Pally is definitely way different with two legendaries. Okay, all right, cool. So you think you think you think right you think you think it's fun tier and powerful the tier alone. Yeah. Okay. Infinite wings. All right, very cool. That I mean that is fun. Also, just general like infinite uh, like extending of cooldowns or cooldown reduction or just having your cooldowns more often in general are probably like some of the more fun things. So, all right, cool. Uh, maybe he's also definitely not there, but that's fine. All right. Next being Resto Druid. This one is also should be fun. I'm not exactly sure exactly how powerful it is. It's probably also very fun and very powerful. Um, what it does is it allows you to pop little mini incarns, like the tree of life form, mm -hmm. uh, for nine seconds. So you can, and that's usually a sort of fun and interactive thing because you can sort of plan and trigger that. The only issue is it's gonna want it's gonna make them want to innervate themselves, and that's disgusting. That is disgusting. They wouldn't do that. There's no way Resto Druid would do that. They're they're gonna line it up, and then innervate themselves, just right in front of everyone. That's actually unholy. But I think it is very fun and very powerful. It's <laughs> part of the reason why Resto is, is is pretty in a good spot right now is because their tier is quite nice. All right, sounds like just definitely fun and powerful i think someone in chat said it might be a little mad mythic plus but also like healing a mythic plus is yeah, well, very different like so so tree of life in mythic plus is bad so yeah it doesn't really matter but in raid it's, it's yeah it's it makes great. sense i mean i feel like if you're ever going to talk about healers you probably have to specify raid because i don't think there's any two things that are different like we talked about tanks being different in mythic plus and raid nothing is more different than a healer in mythic plus and raid you like you dump your whole mana bar every pack get your mana back you have much more of like a damage element you know it's it's just totally fucking different in raid you're healing you're managing healing 20 people <laughs> it's just totally fucking different yeah okay also the two set is like almost completely passive but it's it's also good okay it just like adds another hot on your regrowth or something all right cool discipline priest it, it's pretty firmly meh it's not bad but it's not very interactive Nick said it's good, but I mean, I don't even know if you could say it's powerful though. Okay. It's just it's just kind of there and it doesn't really change the way you play. So even if it even if it was powerful, I don't think anyone would say it's fun. Okay, so it's meh. It is meh. Yeah. Just yeah. kind of middle. Yeah, but if you can't confidently say it's powerful, then I think meh is fine. Okay, holy priest. Do you know what the holy priest here does? Yeah, that's the one that reduces cooldown on their giga revival, the salvation. Salve, yeah. But I don't think it's a bug, but some people are saying it's a, it might be a bug. Um, but basically, it makes your Holy Words tr uh, make your next Holy Word reducing spell, which it, if you know how that works, it's like different spells reduce the, the cooldown on your various Holy Words. It reduces the, like your next Holy Word will do more of a cooldown reduction. Okay. So and then that obviously the, reduces salve too, right? So. Well, so the Holy Words themselves reduce salve's cooldown. So what you currently do is you can do Holy Word Chastise, which is the damage one. Okay. And that'll make your next Holy Word do the, the proc, which then you do another Holy Word, like uh, the AoE one or the single target one. Those two spells reduce the cooldown on salve. Yeah, so okay. So you basically yeah, yeah. just do two back-to-back, -back and you get a minute and a half off of salve. Oh, that might every, actually... Every, that sounds like that could be powerful that. for sure. But even then, yeah. it's kind of fight-dependent. I guess it's, I wouldn't say that's also fun. Like you can, it, it affects a wide variety of spells, but if that's how it goes live, that's pretty much all you would do. And I think that actually makes the spec less fun. No, I agree with that because I feel like if salve, instead of it just being like a giga revival, if all it was, was you instead just turn into like a fucking super hasted, like actual angel and like your heels are more powerful and they're super fast and stuff like that then it would be fun, right? Because you'd have that more often. But the thing is, is even though Cell is powerful, it doesn't impact your play. Your play, You just press it. So, yeah, so I, I would say if it goes live in its current state, it's powerful, but not fun. Okay. 
All right, powerful, and but if, not fun. And if Got the it. bug is not intended and they roll that back, then I don't even think it's powerful. I mean, I think we have to go with how it, it is right it now. It would actually but, yeah. make it more fun, but but certainly less powerful. All right, let, let's see. So Resto, okay, we have Mistweaver and Resto Shaman. So whichever one of those two you want to do. Monk is, it, it changes the play style and it's, it's okay. It's pretty good, but it, it might be meh. Like it, it, the four piece actually, and, and this might be controversial, but some people think when you get the four piece on Mist River, you, you stop casting Renewing Mist, which is weird. And then the two set just increases like the duration of Essence font, which actually is good. It synergizes with how they already play anyway, but uh, that's not interactive at all, right? Like, so right now they play Rising Mist, which extends the duration of Essence font. So the two set extends it further. So it synergizes, but I I don't think it's very fun. So it sounds like we want to live the met, but it also might be powerful slash not fun. It'd be like in between those, but I don't know if... I think it's like, I mean, depends on what you think is powerful. Like, I think it's like a 10% buff if you get both sets. If 10% that's That's versus definitely like, good. Okay, like I don't know how that compares. Ten percent, ten percent is a definite good tier bonus. Ten percent is like a little bit above average for powerful. So that's that's definitely okay, powerful. That's, that's powerful, not fun because you you still just kind of sit there and do your little mini game and don't actually target people. Okay. And then like top the meter, you know, and just like you're kind of there, not participating in the game like the rest of everyone else. Yep. All right. Amen to that. All right. And then the last one we have is Resto Shaman. I believe maybe is going to be back in one minute so we could maybe talk to him or yeah. unless unless you feel very confident about resto shaman bonuses well, to where maybe would not be well you know he does that the well no, thing no i mean i can say what i think and then he'll correct it okay so right now it's bugged in multiple ways so nobody really knows how it's supposed to be or will go live but in its current state it completely changes the way you play which is usually a good thing. I mean, sometimes it can be bad, like, but generally, especially with healers, people don't like playing the same way, tier after tier after tier. Basically, you 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 don't even cast chain heal anymore. You only you it's like still your top heal, but only by like the trigger, which the four piece like makes various spells trigger a chain heal. So it's definitely a playstyle change, and it's it's pretty strong. But I mean, I would leave it up to maybe to say if that's fun or not. But right now, the proc chain heals don't consume the two set. So you no. never actually cast it. They do, they do he just consume, said no. They consume two set. They don't consume other buffs. Oh, like the Tidebringer type thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. High tide, uh, yeah, high tide and Jonat don't get consumed. Like two set doesn't really matter because you're generating too many two set charges to begin with. Dude, tags instantly. Yeah, yeah. Maybe just came in here and said right, no, so Giga good? Chad. I mean, I think the tier set itself makes Shaman really, really strong. Without the tier set, Shaman's super, super weak. With the tier set, the healing capability of Shaman just skyrockets. But it has some weird so interactions. Like, so is it, is it fun though? It's pretty mindless because you don't really think about anything. Like you don't ever consider the two stack because you have way too many two stack charges. So you just always crit. But it's somewhat interactive or like fun to play around since you need to consider your cooldowns of like Cloudburst Totem, Healing Tide, and Mana Tide and Spirit Link as like extra throughput cooldowns now as well. Like they just have extra throughput on top of them. So in a sense, the four piece is fun to play around, but it's pretty brainless overall. You basically play it the exact same that you do now with just a tiny bit more thought of like, oh, don't back so, to back put down okay. Healing Tide and Spirit so, Link. So it's powerful and not fun. Yeah, pretty much. All right, thank you guys. Thank you. All right, Chad, that's enough of that fucking healer shit. We had to get through it. It had to happen at one point. Obviously, none of us care about healers, right? Amen. But but we had to do it. All right, so we have to talk uh, about Warrior now. I kind of want to call Gromnak, because that just sounds fucking hilarious. <laughs> just, just, I don't know why. That just seems... Let me see if Grom's there. One second. Oh, Grom's still asleep? Unfortunate. All right, Kevin called me, and he's walking his dog. All right, this is what Kevin sent me, chat. Kevin sent me this picture when I said, are you there? He just sent me a picture of, of him walking his, his his dog. Hey, are you there? Are you on the walk? Hello? Oh, the mic's fine. That's good. Goop said the mic would be bad. All right, I'm, yo, I'm streaming, but I need to ask you a couple questions about Warrior Tier. Are you ready? Yeah. 
Okay. Arms is, uh, I would say medium strength, but very boring. It's just a damage amp, so it's like not doing anything rotationally. Yeah. But that's a very low tier, whatever that is for you. Do you think it's, okay, would you say it's meh or ass? I'll give it meh just because it does damage, but it's boring, so. Okay, sounds good. All right, so meh, and then Fury. I think Fury is A tier. I think it, it improves the rotation quite a bit. It makes the like dead time on the spec a lot lower, so you're actually pressing meaningful buttons more often. And then it's also pretty damn strong, so. Sounds like it's a fun. the most fun, but I would so, say A. A is good. Well, there isn't like number letters. It's just there's a tier called fun tier slash powerful. Does it fit under there? Yeah, that would be good. Yep. All right. Fuck yeah. All right. Thanks, Geb. Say hi to the yep. dog. Yeah. Uh, Tag said, apparently Mistweaver is fun. Gotta bump it up after talking to Maybe. So does that put it in the fun and powerful? Maybe says yes. All right. We have a couple of specs left. Okay. Feral Druid. Let's call Cybear. Cybear has been called. Hello? Hello. Yo, dude. You, you've been watching the stream. You know the deal. I've been watching the stream. I know the deal. But before we start, I, yeah. I'm going to need chat to do something for me. Chat, can you gift me a sub so that I don't get any ads during this, please? Thank you. Uh, right. Shall I just go for it? That was so Alva. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. He just commanded so, a sub. Based I've on never purely heard... the tier set, it's actually pretty dope. So uh, it's really fun. Not necessarily because of the tier set, because the tier set reduces your cooldown to make it like more of a reasonable cooldown because three minute cooldowns are dog shit, two minutes, more fun. It's good in raid and in mythic, hey, thanks for the gifted sub, there we go, easy. Uh, it makes it fun in mythic plus, like more He's so I'd say. He's a fucking turbo uh, chad. That. But the four set, it then gives you like burst AOE, which is really cool. The reason I think it's fun is because because it, yeah. it, it is something, the argument against it being fun, right, is that you press it and it does damage and that's like whatever, right? But the well, thing is, okay. it does a lot of fucking damage. So like, it does a lot of a lot of damage. But the big thing is, is that it allows you to play different things that you wouldn't normally play. So oh, it okay, makes Fuck Savage yeah. Raw like a playable talent. So you can run that in keys now, and it actually increases the damage of the bleed, which is like super cool. Okay. Uh, it also allows you to play like different covenants, and it opens up Necro Lord as a potential play. So it's fun because it opens up the spec. Like so, in nine point one point five, Feralist Dog Shit, all it has is single target, but it's doesn't have funnel so it's like the more mobs you add it then j it just falls apart the one benefit it has it falls apart but the tier set makes it so that you can then run well having two legendaries means that you can run apex and you want to like Thanks running gifted, apex is cool because it gives you reduction on your cooldown but then you get access to single target with funnel you get access to burst aoe and short cds so you suddenly become like a mythic plus monster and in raid we're already like super sick with single target so now we just get aoe on top of it so that's really cool. Can, can I actually send you, like, can I, I don't want to like self-promote or anything like that, but yeah. you should watch this clip. Uh, okay, because, yeah, I, 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 I've yeah. seen this, but yeah, I, I will I will let them watch it. Right now? Is this some right? PTR, right? This PTR. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Hey, guys, we did it. Two, wait, 200, wait, 200, wait. Mm. I'm off my chair, dude. I'm off my chair. Let's go. Okay, so what did you do to do that? Was that like Onyus Trinket, Lust? That was Onyus Trinket, Lust, and PI. That was it. <laughs> okay. I didn't even get linked to with the That's Kyrian. That's pretty f***ing good. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I think the tier set's going to be really, really, really good. The problem is, is that Feral is dog shit as a spec because you didn't even have a guildie oh, to call. You had to call me, and that shows hey, that Feral is dog shit. Turn, wait. <laughs> That is true. We always are like, we always like ask and like, we're like testing and doing stuff and we're like, dude, does anyone know if Feral's good? And then just like people just actually make shit up. I will say we do have someone try it at least once in every farm period and it always, all, almost always comes back with, yeah, they do really sick single target, but other classes are close and do more in a raid and they have more yeah. damage profiles. And then you just, and then it's just immediately just dis, uh, disregarded. Even if it was like, sadly, like even if it was top by like, even like two to 3% above every other melee, yeah, it's just they don't have rally. They don't have AOE. They don't have like they don't they don't have those things. But this tier looks like they definitely have a, a pinch. They added a pinch of AOE. So uh, what's up? before I go, I wanted to say as well, I'm now going to leave the group and I'm going to unfriend you just as like a power play, if that's OK. That's <laughs> like wow. Yeah, I don't even know how to respond. To, yeah, that's yeah. Go for it. Happen. That is right, fucking nuts. OK, yeah. Thank see you. Ya. Yeah. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. Jill. <laughs> Dear God, chat. What are you saying? Like, actually, what can you say to that? God, I wish I was that cool. Well, he unfriended me. He actually did.
<laughs> That's, wow. Uh, okay, so what's next? We have, uh, do we have to do Moonkin, man? Oh, okay. All right, let's uh, let's get a couple of them. Let's all just all just add a bunch of them to a group. Chat. I wonder if the, these moonkins have the absolute balls to come into this chat and say that their tier is bad and needs to get nerfed. I I wonder. I just actually wonder if it's possible that they do that. All right, chat. Let's hear what let's hear what these absolute clowns have to say. Let's hear Hello. it. Good afternoon. Hello. Hello, all you. I don't know if Sang will be here yet. He's raiding in classic currently. That is not good. Oh no. Playing moonkin in classic. He does play Moonkin in Classic. Okay, like, seriously? <laughs> oh, God. I, I don't know why, but he does. So now that the clown car is here, uh, what is, uh, what's the take on Moonkin tier? All right, so here's the deal. It's survival level of good. It shouldn't be nerfed, but you should give Bro, all of your Moonkins no priority on tier. There, okay, there, there's, 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 there's no... What we discussed. There's no f***ing way it's survival level of good. Yeah, there is no shot. No, it's really not. It's really it not. is. It is if you're fighting one guy. Uh, Goop, what do you think about it? Do you think it's really fun? Uh, it's it's cosmetic tier if you're fighting multiple guys. So it doesn't do anything if you're fighting more than one guy. Yeah, it gives you infinite AP, but I you mean, can only like, use. You already have yeah, star yeah. fall up time. You gain nothing. <laughs> it's great. Yes. It, it does feel really bad in that sense. Like imagine if we had uncapped amounts of star falls, like Legion. Think about how sick that would be. Just being able to spam Starfall over and over. Yeah, that you guys should probably get that back too. That would actually yeah. make yeah, honestly, they should buff Agreed. Moonkins. Thank yeah, yeah. you. Agreed. Yeah, that that would be good. Yeah. Remove the CD too on Stellar Drift. I think that'd be really good. It, it's definitely it's really rare? good in raid, but like it's not as. Chat, I'm fucking trolling, dude. They're all. I think it's a huge Moonkins. damage boost. Okay, so I think you it's guys. Not really fun in fun in Mythic Plus. It's you don't problem. think it's fun? I think it's so fun to play. I haven't, haven't had so much fun in Boomkin since Legion. Let's get the two legendaries. Do you uninstall your damage meters or what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just buffing my. I always tell my stream, look, 15% of the Frost Mage's damage is mine. <laughs> they just need true. to understand that. And that's fun. You, it's fun to be a simp. It's cool. simp, I mean, yeah. simp culture is good. It's king shit. So you guys are saying it's fun and it's powerful, but half of you are 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 a little bit off on the powerful. Or no, no on, on the fun, on the fun, on the fun. Well, it's a lot of fun in raiding. Because uh, you just generate so much astral power, so you can star search a lot. So I would put it fun and powerful for raiding, but for M plus, you cannot do anything with the extra astral power. So therefore, it's not fun and not powerful in AOE, I guess. Oh, okay. So that it's like has two things. So this is actually probably one of the first tier things I've talked about today. Then where it's distinctly different based on the content you're doing, which has not really been true for almost anyone else except for like a few tanks. Okay, that works. All right. Do you guys have anything to? Uh... Anything to say to the community? Buff Moonkin. Buff Moonkin? Yeah, probably just buff Boonkins, honestly. Right, I'm leaving. All right, I'll, thanks for the call. <laughs> no, 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 but please buff him. Oh, my God. Right. <laughs> I'm fucking out. I'm actually out. I actually just left in their face. All right, so we only have a few specs left. Is there an Ellie and Enhanced Together guy? I guess it would be like Kana. All right, I'm calling Chill Drill. Um, yo, have you seen what I'm, are you, do you see what I'm doing on stream? Yeah. All right. Do you know how Enhance works, by the way, or are you just an Ellie guy? Just an Ellie. Okay, excellent. All right, so tell me what Ellie's all about for tier. Uh, makes it less fun, but more powerful. That's it. So just powerful, pretty, not fun. It's pretty buggy, though. It's not really doing the right It's thing. buggy, but it's powerful, and it's not fun at all. It makes you play a less fun build. All right, that's it. Amen. GG's. Yeah, God bless. GG. Yep. Okay, is Word Up still in chat? We can talk about Enhance. Okay, I'm calling Word Up for Enhance. All right, hello. Give me the lowdown on Enhance. So, like, some of the other things that people said, it kind of applies to us. Our set bonus sucks ass in AoE, but we're a single target spec anyway at this point in raids, right? Like, you've already seen that in Sanctum. Yeah, I think especially because it's, like, a lot of other classes single target too. But, I, so, but, but, yeah, I feel like if that's their niche... They've clearly made it a point to play into niches and not go on the outside. Like, it's not like they're giving any, like, AoE spec a giga single target bonus and they're only doing that, right? So, I think I think that makes sense. Yeah, it goes hardcore into that. It also really needs the double legendary, which Ooh, makes okay. it even better. But it's, like, good on its own. And it's also really gameplay warping. Like, changes talent picks, changes the way that you play the game. Like, I'd easily put it Frontier powerful in, like, the context of purely raid. Yeah, I... I... 
it's weird because I feel like with the one to two legendaries things for classes that are majorly affected by being in one or the other, like enhances, I think it's weird that that's just why I think they should make two legendaries available from the jump because it's just like two different things. I guess for most players though, they're probably just going to like main one thing and it'll be like pretty good and then it'll just be like way better after that. But it is funny how like it can be pretty polarizing on a class like that. But the, the double legendary doesn't really interact with the tier at all, does it? It just... Uh, it really strongly does. Oh, but really? Only one covenant. The other three get a lot from like mixing up other talents and shit. But specifically the single target stuff, double legendary is really important. Like it makes it even better than it already was because it directly links to what the tier bonus does. All right, so so fun tier, powerful, probably somewhere in the middle of the pack. If if it's just raid, yeah. In mythic plus, it's gonna do nothing. Like it's basically not there. But for raids, the bonus is really strong. Okay. All right, I can do that. All right, thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. Okay, so now you have three left. Oh, Psycho's in here. All right, cool. I'll call Psycho then. All right, you've been watching. You know the deal. So where do you think Havoc's tier stands? Ass. You think it's ass? Mm -hmm. Hold up. There is no shot a two-piece giving you 10% can be ass. There's no way, right? Well, it doesn't equate to 10%. And also, you only use half of it with the best build that you play. Oh, okay. I get it. Okay, so you think it's ass, just straight up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, these can either be really good or really bad, but it's not fun, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, I think, yeah, Shaki was talking all yesterday while we were doing a bunch of normal stuff. He just kept saying how, like, not fun it was. So, okay. Yep. All right. The only ass. We did not have a single ass until right now. All right. Yeah, thanks, dude. GM. He just went straight for the ass, chat. <laughs> well, that. <laughs> all right, next person. Um. So, Rhett, 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 who are we calling for Rhett? Okay, so Joey from Club Camel messaged me. He said, I'm Club Camel's Rhett. Okay, I'm just going to call Joe. Hello. So you, you are Club Camel Joey the Rhett Paladin. Yes. All right, what do you think about Rhett's tier? Ass. You think it's ass? I mean, it's really yeah. f***ing bad. Yeah, I've. you think it's worse than ass, maybe? I think it would swamp ass. There's like, no f***ing shot at swamp ass. Do you know how swamp bad the affliction bonus ass. is? I have not seen it, no. I've I've heard that Rhett is like actually terrible to play. Like it's like the least fun thing ever. And does it also suck? Like how much of an increase is it? So it's like RNG for like a two percent damage increase. Like a fifty percent chance for a two percent damage increase. It's pretty bad. So you have a two percent chance for a fifteen percent damage. Do you have an? Oh, so it's like super RNG. So it's hard to tell like the exact overall damage. So like you're saying two piece and four piece combined gain so less than five percent total. Okay, I'm thinking this might go swamp ass. It's definitely swamp bad. Okay, all right, thank you. Shadow Priest is the last one. Who do you guys pick as your champion, Shadow Priest? Do you guys have to choose a champion? Ellipsis. Okay, it sounds like people want to want Ellipsis. Uh, I think he added me, got him, and I'll call him real quick. Yeah, hello. Hello, hello. All right, can you tell me what's good with the Shadow Priest tier bonuses? Well, first time I'm just gonna put it in the category. It goes in Frontier and powerful, just to start off. Oh, it's like really good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what it does is it gives your spenders a chance proportional to the amount of insanity they cost to give you a Dark Thoughts proc, which is a free Mind Blast. So it's lots of procs. It gets kind of crazy during cooldowns, which kind of fits with the theme of Shadow. Like, yeah, I saw... With everything going on is bonkers and really yeah. hard to manage. I saw, I saw like, I was like asking about VE strength and Riven's just like, like tried to just get me the best clip of him on ptr after a while just like trying to line up as many things he could like funnel and just proc stuff like that of like just how big he could get it to go with the talent and it was just yeah, fat fat as it was actually so much and so yeah, yeah. It, it's kind of crazy um it's crazy in the sense of like how much it changes your rotation because it forces you to kind of like you have like four things proc at once you have to kind of pass in your head which one's the priority order to press them in and it's like bonkers lots of people are going to find it very overwhelming but personally i really enjoy it I mean, yeah, um, Rivens the, loves it. Yeah. The the four-piece proc is effectively just damage to the two-piece proc. But it does it in a really unique and interesting way that has one major bug with it that I will have to bring up. But it kind of makes a, like, literal shadow spawn out of you that, like, channels on the target. It's effectively yeah. like a, a dot with an NPC on it, which is cool. And Shadow Priest doesn't need yet more bonkers interactions on top of the two-piece, yeah, on top yeah, of what yeah. it already has. So it's kind of cool that way. So do you think um, the most of the power, so they kind of interact, but where does more of the power come in? The four or the two piece? All of the power is in the four piece. Oh, okay. Uh, like the two, like the two piece procs themselves are like, I don't know, like 
one or two, one percent, one and a half percent, because they're just not really particularly impactful anyway. It's the fact that they spawn a shade with the four piece that makes it really good. All right, fuck yeah, that's cool. All right, so you it's, think it just goes? Really cool. You think it's not survival tier, but fun tier slash powerful? It's fun and powerful, yeah. It's no, it's not on the, it's not in the like the level of survival. It does do decent AOE damage, which is kind of important for Shadow because, like, as you know, like Shadow's AOE is like gutter unless you pick a very specific set of talents. So having the option to like not play those talents and still do some AOE is pretty great. Okay, does it interact with uh, single or double legendary at all? Because I know like Sh I feel like Shadow stonks with do double legendary are a little bit less actually than when they're single. Uh, Sh Shadow's double legendary is more just like we had a covenant legendary that was good already, so we're kind of happy to get two legendaries. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's no there's no direct synergy with the two piece really. The two okay. Piece, well, the, the synergy is with a legendary we can already use. It doesn't actually like getting the access to the next one doesn't really change it doesn't really change anything in that respect all right cool all right fuck it thanks man no worries see you yep. see you okay so this is where we're standing so the only specs in the game that like 100 percent have to get buffed completely changed or made more fun is outlaw fire windwalker affliction and ret which you don't really have to worry about fire mage you know fire mage is gonna get taken care of they're like the main characters of wow rogue has two other good specs so like outlaw can kind of probably get overlooked windwalkers as sad as it is to say as someone who windwalker is actually my favorite class to play a class i play a good bit you're probably gonna get overlooked because blizzard just has a huge history of overlooking windwalker one thing is true i think they will fix the bugs specifically the storm earth and fire consuming all three procs and not generating three times as many procs with windwalker i think that is true because that's like something that you know there's just absolutely no way that specifically would go live like i know there are weirder bugs within the spec itself but if they're actually releasing tier they're not just going to release broken tier that'll get fixed before it comes out but who knows how actually strong that is affliction some people forget that warlocks are actually just moonkins but they just don't complain as much but they're just always good right so like warlocks are going to be fine I think I said something along the lines of like THD saying Warlock was so bad needing to be buff, and I'm just like I can get like clip this on Jailer. Warlock will be just like one of the very best progression bosses for that fight, and you might stack them because that's true in every end boss ever. So don't let them don't let them actually trick you.